is an interesting exhibit. This is basically an exhibit of next generation kimonos and yukata in Japan. Ideas about where the traditional Japanese kimono might be headed in terms of fashion. Let's take a look. Some of the items don't look much like kimono at all. Oh, that's pretty though. Obi though. Or kokeshi doll. This looks like a traditional style, but if you look at the uh, pattern, it's more contemporary. This is nice. This particular type has embroidery. You can see the embroidery right here. Isn't that nice? And this is very nice. Look at the flowers. Ooh, I really like this one. Doesn't that look like uh, something that would be comfortable to wear on a on a chilly winter day? That looks rather traditional to me. Maybe that could be for a nice maternity outfit. Ooh, very interesting fabric used here. My favorite, I saved my favorite for last. This particular uh, yukata, which is a light summer style kimono, is actually made of uh, headbands. Uh, Japanese uh, workmen and, uh, and and women as well will often wear uh, special headbands. I think they're called tegui. Or maybe I may be saying it wrong. Over their heads when they're working, and they're about the size of a handkerchief. And this is basically a collection of those headbands uh, put together in a patchwork fashion to create a beautiful summer yukata. This explains all the different styles. Ooh, this is my favorite part right here. Fireflies. I like the rabbits too, and who doesn't like the goddess of mirth, Okame? Very, very interesting. Where kimonos may be headed in the 21st century.